जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी यशोदा नंदना व्रज जन रंजना यशोदा नंदना व्रज जन रंजन यामुना तेरा वन चारी यामुना तेरा वन चारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी राध माधव कुंज बिहारी कॉपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी कॉपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी यशोदानंदना ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदना ब्रज जन रंजन यामुन तेरा वन चारी यामुन तेरा वन चारी जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद जय विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्राज का चार्य अष्टोत्र श्रीमद भाई चरण अरविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद की जाय जाय विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिव्राज का चार्य अष्टोत्र श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वा महाराज प्रभुपाद की जाय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जाय नामाचार्य श्री व्यास ठाकुर की जाय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद की जाय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की जाय वृंदावन मथुरा धाम की जाय मायापुर नवदीप धाम की जाय गंगा माई की जाय यमुना माई की जाय नर्मदा माई की जाय भक्ति देवी की जाय श्रीमती तुलसी महारानी की जाय समवेद गौर भक्त वृंद की जाय निताय गौर प्रेम नंद ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम अज्ञान तिमिरांत से ज्ञानांजन श्लाखया चक्षुर्मिल जैन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूपकदा मह्यम ददा स्वपदाक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीतपदगमन श्रीगुरीवैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सगण रघुनाथ तम सचीव साध्वैत सवधूत परजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदान सागलिता श्री विशाखान्ता नमो विष्णुपदा कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति विकास स्वामी नमस्ते सारस्वत देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद की हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे दिस इज दिस मच सो हरे कृष्ण वेलकम टू द फोर्थ सेशन of the online reading of uh, patrobadesh volume 1 online reading of the patrobadesh volume 1 reading no, volume 1 book so we are continuing to read uh, from page number 64 second july 
So before just starting, I just want to confirm from devotees whether they are able to hear me properly, whether my audio is audible or not. Hare Krishna, am I audible? Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Second July 1997. <clears throat> Thank you very much for your letter that was sent on to me by email. I'm now in Germany and will go to America on 7th July. Hopefully, Russia after that and back to India probably in October. This is my plan. Everything is in Krishna's hands. I was just traveling in Croatia, Bosnia, and other parts of the Europe. There are many devotees and quite a few centers in the ex. Soviet bloc. The response is overwhelming. The devotees are so happy to see a disciple of Srila Prabhupada. How great is Srila Prabhupada that people are so eager to see those who saw him. <coughs> so now we shall all try to become worthy representatives of Srila Prabhupada. That can that we can do by rigidly following the regulatory principles, chanting at least 16 rounds daily without offenses, studying Srila Prabhupada's books very carefully and seriously endeavoring to become pure devotees of Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of <coughs> Godhead. I am very happy that you are now happily situated in devotional service. I know you are very serious. You are a very serious devotee and I have great hopes of you developing into a first class preacher and devotee. Everything is possible if we stop making offenses as surrender to Krishna. Regarding your philosophical question, you wrote, when we read the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam in the story of Shamantaka Jival, Akrura is making a plan to kill the father of Rukmini. Then he went to Varanasi and was doing so many sacrifices. As a pure devotee of Lord, why he was doing like that? In the commentary, it is said that because he had offended the gopis. Please explain. Although this point is not explained more in the purport, I may venture the following explanation based on the uh, understanding culled from reading Srila Prabhupada's books. That Akrura performed sacrifices is not surprising as most devotees in Dwarka Leela perform activities concomitant with their Varnashrama status, as does Krishna himself. This is all to nourish Krishna's pastimes. If Krishna did not appear somewhat human, his pastimes would be less sweet. This is why Dwaraka is higher than Vaikuntha. Because the opulence is mitigated by loving feelings of familiarity. The effect is even more pronounced in Vrindavan than Dwaraka. To augment this feeling of ordinariness, Krishna's associates may also act as if forgetting Krishna's supremacy. This pastime shows how the residents of Dwarka were reminded of Krishna's supremacy as some of them appear to forget that. Due to familiarity breeds contempt. Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Canto 10, Chapter 57, Text 30 Purport. Actually, pure devotees of Krishna never forget Krishna and are never in a less per, less than perfect position. But sometimes to facilitate Krishna's Leela or to demonstrate some point, they may appear to be in Maya, as did Arjuna to expedite the speaking of Bhagavad Gita. Similarly, Akrura's offense towards the gopis demonstrate, demonstrates that even advanced devotees have to be careful to avoid making offenses. Please consider the following quotes from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 2, Chapter 7, Text 15, Purport. A pure devotee of the Lord never commits any sinful acts, but because the whole world is full of sinful atmosphere, even a pure devotee may commit a sin unconsciously as a matter of course. The Lord descends on this earth and acts like others in connection with the activities of the world just to create subject matters for hearing about Him. Otherwise, the Lord has nothing to do in this world, nor has he any obligation to do anything? And from Srila Kavi Karnapura's Sri Chaitanya Chandrodaya, 
when spiritual beings exhibit seemingly mundane qualities their transcendental existence is is in no way impaired these wonderful pastimes of krishna are pleasing to hear, hear and are full of many important instructions please go on relishing them and your life will be perfect may giridhari bless you may blessings to the devotees there please go on chanting hare krishna with full enthusiasm 11th july 1997 unfortunately because of my stupidity i also have some good new bad news please forgive me guru maharaj for offending your lotus feet by breaking the vow i have given you and the deities in mayapur i have again watched television in a few times it has helped me a lot because i feel less and less attracted to it and because before i had watched it almost every day by but i also didn't succeed to fully keep my vow please forgive me this has upset me a lot because i started seriously thinking if i can't keep such a simple promise how will i be able to keep the promise to chant 16 rounds every day and follow the four regulative principles for the rest of my life but at the same time i have to accept initiation because without it i am lost do i have to wait until i will be able to walk by myself and stop falling down after every step i make but this may take a lifetime guru maharaj am i too ambitious and impatient and expect too much from myself or is it normal to make mistakes in spiritual life i don't want to make cheap compromise saying that it's okay just to make me feel better if this is very bad i prefer feeling bad and guilty and better start making plans how to keep my promise in the future 15% to the temple is okay good the good news about preaching is good and the bad news about tv is bad what can i say you have to fly your own plane your solution is good keep busy in krishna service Eighteenth July, nineteen ninety-seven. I finally got time to read my memories of Shila Prabhupada. Generally, I feel a certain intimacy in reading the works of authors I know. You wrote this book for those who asked you for your memories of Shila Prabhupada, and therefore had a familiar audience in mind. Of course, in mind. Of course, I wasn't uh, one of those who asked you about your memories, but I happily shared in them and I was and was touched by them. The longest essay in the book. is your article on strong speaking devotees have no objection to a sanyasi speaking strongly provided he practices what he preaches and especially in india your strong speaking benefits your audience <coughs> in western settings sorry oh 15% to the temple is okay there is a footnote uh, this refers to the percentage taken by l temple from the sale of my books okay continuing the longest essay in the book is your article on strong speaking devotees have no objection to a sanyasi speaking strongly provided he practices what he preaches and especially in india your strong speaking benefits your audiences in western settings it may be misunderstood or not comprehended anti cultists who are a little sympathetic to devotees in the sense of realizing that we are happy doing what we do are still wary of the ability of cultists to strongly persuade young unformed minds yet preaching means fighting you remind us indeed iskon's public relations were stormy and difficult in the late 70s and early 80s when we fought the anti cultists <laughs> thanks for your critic of my memories i really appreciate intelligent criticism even if or especially if it is not all praise it helps me to formulate and clarify ideas and responses and to feel how my writing is being received sometimes it moves me to shift my stance also not in this case especially with subjects that could be controversial and that constitutes quite a lot of my writing i try to run it 
past some senior devotees before I print it. The problem is that everyone is so tied up that hardly have time to help. Jayadwait Maharaj read the strong preaching essay before it was printed, but just gave a one-line response that he liked it. I am wary about adjusting our strong message to satisfy the public. This is already discussed in the essay. If anti-cultists are wary of strong persuasion, they are hypocrites. The educational system and mass media strongly persuade people that they are these bodies, that life comes from matter, and the acquisition of money and sense gratification are the goal of life. They don't like us working on unformed minds because they want to form them in their own demonic way. Sometime in August 1997, your letter has been a great relief for me. I have been very worried about you. I wish I could think of Krishna as spontaneously as I have been thinking of you. Wow. Admittedly, your present situation is not the best place to get inspired about pure devotion service. I pushed you to do TSKP means Travelling Sankirtan Party because I wanted you to imbibe a strong service mood without which learning is useless or worse. Some devotees talk about doing something significant and read books and attend seminars on how to be a success. Others don't make a lot of fuss and bother but just get on with whatever needs to be done. They go, go on steadily with their service, even if it seems relatively inconsequential. But attention to duty and enthusiasm to serve gradually qualify a person and attract the attention of his superiors, who may be pleased to give him responsibility. No one achieved anything worthwhile without much hard work and sacrifice. Success is not for dreamers. Hard work is a prerequisite to and symptom of surrender. I want to see you happy, fulfilled and productive in devotional service. But I am not convinced that your own ideas about how to come to that position are the best. I got recently a turf, I got I recently got a letter from S. Das who is on Padayatra in AP. He wrote that it is austere but he is very happy and being nicely trained for the first time in how to serve Krishna. So I suggest to go on Padayatra in AP and maybe Brajamandal Parikrama after which if J is coming you could join him. Otherwise in the meantime you could join A or B's Padayatra. They are sincere devotees. There is so much there is much to discuss for which we will have to wait until my return to India. It is, pos it is not possible on email. But do not associate with B. His intelligent discussions cannot help you. Only cause harm. Doubts and complaints should be taken up to more senior devotees, not down to juniors who will simply become confused. To dwell on the, to dwell on the inevitable problems and anomalies within our society without having a positive program for making improvements is a particularly harmful form of prajalpa. Especially to expose newer devotees to such, such matters simply bewilders them and is one of the worst forms of violence to their tender creepers of devotion. Go on chanting 64 for another 7 days or so. Take shelter of the holy name and think positively. There is hope, tremendous hope in Krishna consciousness. And do dance in Kirtan, dance for Krishna, he will be pleased. Okay, now I would like to request some devotees to read. Mm. Probin Mahapatro. Probinji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, a message would have come on your laptop or your phone on the top saying accept the mic. Mic accept, yes. Access to the mic. So, Prabhinji, you have to click yes, then you can access to the mic. I don't think he is there. Hare Krishna. 
Are you able to hear me or not? Okay. Okay, Vivek, you can read. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Unknown date. I met your father. He is very nice, like a devotee. He ha he gave two hundred dollars for you. You may take this Lakshmi from G Das, and I will adjust it against the Lakshmi owed me by the party. I believe the rate is around thirty six. So you should get rupees seven thousand two hundred. If this figure is incorrect, let me know. That's a lot of Lakshmi for a young brahmachari with all his basic needs met. What do you intend to do with it? Be careful. Lakshmi can give a false sense of independence that is unfavorable for spiritual advancement. What is this problem with Jidas? What do you intend to do? You need to work under a leader as you are not mature enough to work independently. My desire is that you continue to do sankirtana as it is best for you at this stage. As Srila Prabhupada wrote, please go on with your devotional service with all enthusiasm. Associate with devotees, chant attentively, read my books daily and distribute them also and surely advancement will be gradually there. If you can't work with Jidas, that is unfortunate but not unusual. These kind of personality problems are there in Sankirtana parties all over the world. It is Maya's influence to try to stop our preaching. But you can also increase the preaching. Why don't you continue to use the A bus for A preaching and thus make another party? 2nd October 1997 I have been thinking for some time to write to you, but I am afraid that you will not care what I say. Now I have come across a letter from Srila Prabhupada, which better states anything that I could say. Try to convince them to return to our society and work cooperatively. That they have gone away is not a good thing, and it is a deviation from our line of parampara. Rather, avoiding fault-finding and anarchy, they should keep our standards and work maturely and not cause fac factions and splitting. I am not at all pleased at what they have done, but if, I, if they return, let us forget what has happened and go forward. We have got so much vital spiritual knowledge to distribute to the public and they are in desperate need of it. The whole world is going to hell and everyone is suffering. In light of this, how can we argue among us one another and neglect our responsibility for reclaiming these fallen souls for going back home, back to Godhead? I have much affection for you and had hoped that you had the same for me. So I appeal to you not to run off without even speaking to me. Is this the integrity that you so much value? It is very disturbing. Please try to meet me either in Vrindavan in the first week of November or in Vallabha Vidyanagar in the second week of November. In the meantime, it is best if you serve in any ISKCON temple or project. 16th November 1997 You should consider very seriously that what your Guru wants you to do is best for you, not what you want to do. You should have faith that by following his instruction, even in the most unfavorable circumstances, you will be protected and nourished. Even if he has given you the choice to do as you like, you cannot make the same progress as you can by fully surrendering to his wishes. Going to K to be alone with your mind is not at all a good idea. Better you go to Mayapur, chant and dance in the association of the devotees and take the time to think what to do in the intensely spiritual atmosphere of the dham. That is, if you do not follow the advice given in the para above. 17th November 1997 Due to what I don't know, several of my recent outgoing email letters vanished off my computer and appear not to have reached their destinations either. 
so please excuse me if you are getting a late reply or if you are getting a similar letter twice so here is a little note again it is very good news that you are chanting your 16 rounds with full faith and conviction again it is a fact that without the shelter of krishna's holy names life is meaningless or worse that is the sign of a pure devotee that he feels uncomfortable without performing his devotional service much as we feel uncomfortable if we don't eat we should feel the same way or worse if we don't hear and chant about krishna maybe your big paper could form the material for a btg essay or maybe a paper in journal not that i am fond of artificial scholars or their honey bottle licking presentations but if there is something in parampara line written in a way that so called scholars may appreciate why not give it to them also in either case it would need some rewriting which is good because writing and rewriting is good meditation when the subject is krishna keep up the fight against maya it is a great credit to you that you are up, upholding your krishna consciousness in one of the strong holds of the material energy the slaughter house university for destroying spiritual consciousness now if you stick to your principles you may gradually fulfill chanakya's proverb that a single sandalwood tree can scent a whole forest in other words by being krishna consciousness you can greatly benefit all the students and faculty members thereby gradually introducing krishna consciousness to them also 1st december 1997 i was of course also hurt and shocked by he probably has a new name now going away i won't be so upset if i didn't love him but he doesn't believe in or care for that love he always said he wanted to do something significant i know he has he has significantly wounded my heart to analyze all the reasons behind it might be very complex he was not honest with me and i don't know exactly what he was thinking it seems he had his own ideas of what krishna consciousness should be and what a guru should be instead of submitting himself to be molded by me he rejected me as incompetent to guide him a few months ago he was supposed to clean my room one morning but instead just went to sleep at that time i knew he was not sincere he is also callous about the feelings of others otherwise how could he kick me in the face like this when i when i have simply tried to help help him <clears throat> why don't he contact his parents even when he knows they are anxious about him it is not that he is highly advanced in detachment he simply doesn't care it is true that the circumstances he was studying in within iskon were not staying, the most stay, staying, staying sorry in. sorry bro he was staying in it is true that the circumstances he was staying in within iskon were not the most ideal or inspiring but that was no justification for doing what he did i could have arranged for him to serve elsewhere but he has the same problem everywhere he didn't like to serve of course everyone comes to devotional service with so many disqualifications and we don't like to dwell on them rather we try to direct devotees so they may become purified those that live iskon often blame the institution but ultimately the fault lies with them we can either look for all the faults in iskon and blaspheme it and go away or we can find all the tremendous good qualities take advantage of them and become purified at the same time we should be aware of discrepancies and try to rectify them under the circumstances i don't think you can consider him a god brother the question of him coming back is theoretical and at present doesn't seem likely if he did come i would have to gauge his mood before accepting him changing a guru is not like changing a gamcha anyway pray for him i am as always concerned about your continuing spiritual weakness but i am very pleased by your practical commitment to the service the results speak for themselves whatever your fatals whatever your frailties maybe frailties maybe the books are coming out 
this concrete contribution to the sankirtan movement is far more valuable than volumes of high sounding philosophical abstractities what to do in a war there will be casualties and there may be traitors also 25th december 1997 maharaja sent me a copy of your letter to him i am shocked at how you could write to him like that you are so fortunate to have a guru who cares for you enough to chastise you he could have written okay do whatever you like but he perceived that you are not in good consciousness as came out in your letter of reply and took the trouble to give you the required medicine he has praised and encouraged you so many times and presumed there was enough trust that there that you could accept this his chastisement understanding that it is not the words of a cruel hearted person out to smash you but with genuine concern for your well being the chastisement of the guru is a sign of his acceptance of the disciple first because he takes the trouble to correct him and second because he has faith that disciple trust the guru enough to accept the chastisement in the right spirit try to understand he knows better than you what you need that's why you accept a guru the guru is the personification of the personal interest and kindness of krishna that is why the devotee should surrender to the guru are you so are you so superficial that you think kindness means simply smiling all the time i have seen that some devotees idolize their guru like the mundane hero worship of sports cinema and music stars they collect photos of him constantly talk of his exploits with great relish and reverence and appear to be completely absorbed in the thoughts of him the real test of their devotion however comes when they are called upon to surrender to him no amount of showy adultation is as important as this test are you ready to follow his order if not you are in very serious trouble from the tone of your letter it seems that you are on the verge of falling into the terrible pit of maha vaishnava aparada caused by rejecting your guru unless you pull yourself together right now you are going to go on the path leading to hell you may not like me saying this but this is the fact if you want to save yourself from the worst of hells immediately draft a letter of apology to your most merciful guru deva it has to be from the heart tell him that you are ready to do whatever he orders even if it is against your personal desire and if it means going to pee and then do just that do whatever he says give your money your camera your computer everything to him and start life again as a simple brahmachari ready to do whatever you are told that is the only way you can be happy 27th december 1997 if you see b please tell him that i do not like to think of him continuing in his misery and that i want him to come back to india immediately 28th december 1997 when we your disciples have some problems do you know about them even though we haven't yet told them directly to you do you know something is wrong and pray for us to pray for us to krishna and try to help us and if we pray you and if we pray to you in our daily life do you know about it and help us give us your mercy guide us in spiritual life in this way indirectly i don't need a letter from you to know that you are struggling you are always struggling i am always thinking of my disciples and pray that the best wishes for them from his fallen soul may be favorably heard by krishna chandra thank you for taking the interest to distribute my books and for getting that book please bring whatever you can on this to mayapur usually devotees here only offer respects in their mind to prabhu since he is not a sanyasi but him being srila prabhupada's disciple isn't the proper etiquette to offer him obeisances every day the first time we see him at least i would also like to ask you for permission if it is okay 
if i sometimes consult prabhu about my spiritual life when i have difficulties if i think he could help me in some way since he is in l yes you are very lucky to get prabhu's association take the advantage of it as much as possible take advice from him serve him and offer obeisances to him he is my old friend we had some interesting times together in b it's good that you write articles writing is one of the best ways to focus on krishna but make sure the writing is actually krishna conscious according to guru sadhu and shastra not just some mental drivel guru maharaja i have a question about the vyasa puja program some devotees in l have performed abhisheka in the guru's absence they did it with a picture of his lotus feet is this bona fide may we also include such abhisheka in the celebration thank you for your enthusiasm in arranging my vyasa puja celebration there i never heard of abhisheka to a photo before dear guru maharaja i was thinking of sending a letter to com free forum to devotees and your god brothers to write letters of appreciation of you and then read them on vyasa puja celebration and maybe make a little booklet if there will be more of them may i do this please don't write on free forum about my vyasa puja or to god brothers for appreciations my blessings to a b c and all the devotees there and to your prasada loving father also don't watch useless karmi tv ever okay prabhu ji <coughs> okay prabhu ji thank you very much let what is up the devotees to read shri kumar rajendra is unable to come or what hmm प्रवीन महापात्र आर यू देर हरे कृष्ण प्रवीण जी ओके जगन्नाथ चंद्र प्रभु वॉन्ट्स टू रीड जगन्नाथ चंद्र प्रभु आई गिवन यू एक्सेस टू द माइक हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा नो दे आर टेकिंग लॉट ऑफ टाइम ओके शुभंकर जी कैन रीड शुभंकर राज यस प्रभु यस ट्वेंटी नाइन दिसंबर थैंक यू फॉर योर लेटर एंड द काइंड सेंटिमेंट्स एक्सप्रेस देयर इन you have asked for my advice for your spiritual life i advise that although it will be difficult you go ahead and find a job for a year and after that spend some time serving in our temples this may seem to be strange advice but i'm seeing too many immature young people join our temples without really understanding what or why they are doing and after some time going away disappointed because they did not get the phantasmagorial idea of spiritual life that they are, that they were hoping for some experience in the rough top world can help make you more sober and give some realization of what a precious gift krishna consciousness is of course you must go on chanting hari krishna as much as possible and read shila prabhupad's books primarily there is no use to reading my books without reading shila prabhupad's books yeah this is very very important some devotees have a misconception that uh, 
uh sorry i am interrupting here <laughs> but uh, there is a very good point here there is no use of reading my books without reading chila prabhupas books some devotees have a misconception that uh, maharaj is writing books overpowering chila prabhupa there is no need to write uh, books prabhupas books are sufficient uh, like that some comments are uh, revolving in the moment here and there i come we come to here while going for book distribution uh, within is con so this is this point is very very important that maharaj is stressing devotees to read first shila prabhupada's books and then read his books uh, okay can continue unknown date i was just traveling in croatia bosnia and other parts of europe the response is overwhelming the devotees are so happy to see a disciple of shila prabhupada How great is Sri La Prabha that people are so eager to see those who saw him. So now we should all try to become worthy representatives of Sri La Prabha. That we can do by rigidly following the. Regulatory principles: chanting at least sixteen rounds daily without offenses, studying Sri La Prabha's books very carefully. and seriously endeavoring to become pure devotees of lord krishna the supreme personality of godhead from europe i will go to usa and hopefully russia after that and back to india probably in october this is my plan everything is in krishna's hand i will be very happy if you can become happily situated in devotional service i know you want to be a serious devotee and i have great hopes of you developing into a first class preacher and devotee Everything is possible if we stop making offenses and surrender to Krishna. Please consider accepting that there are problems within Iskon and in some cases severe problems. Your perception of them is also not perfect as you are subject to illusion, mistakes, imperfect senses and the cheating propensity. You have not stuck to the service given to you, namely book distribution. but have instead chosen to spend your time discussing all kinds of matters that cannot that cannot benefit you you write to your spiritual master to classifying him with idiots rascals and thieves you use foul language in the same letter and yet you want to be a perfect brahmana by culture you pontificate on the failings of others but do not properly follow the basic principles of spiritual life like attending temple programs you write that you are fighting for life if you at all value my advice start chanting 64 rounds daily try try hard to chant with attention and feeling like a genuine cry of a child for his mother attend morning and evening programs without fail even if you are tired and sick dance in kirtana any balanced time study shila prabhupada's books only do not do not at all waste time in idle talks pray to the most merciful gaur nitai for their help and resolve to surrender to them totally refrain from criticizing vaishnavas or even thinking badly of them even if it seems that there is there is ample ground to do so Do not sleep excessively. Do this for at least seven to ten days, and then write to me again. This is the medicine. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama. Iba kevalam kalu nastiya va nastiya va nastiya va gati raniya tha. Personally, I cannot give up this process of Krishna consciousness, no matter whatever anyone else may say or do. Nor can I dream of leaving Iska, whatever the problems may be. I cannot give up chanting Hare Krishna and praying to Krishna to help me, despite my frailties and defects. Nineteen ninety-eight. Sometime in nineteen ninety-eight, you have asked me to bless you so that you do not lose enthusiasm in devotional service. Please go on reading Shila Prabhupada's books and preaching this message to others. Do not concoct anything. Do not become proud and do not become offensive into Krishna's devotees. If you follow this program of do's and do nots, 
you will certainly maintain enthusiastic you will certainly remain enthusiastic in devotional service throughout your life you have referred to yourself as a foolish mataji it is nice that you maintain a humble mood but you should know that birth in a yoman's body is no bar to receiving the full mercy of krishna as lord krishna himself clearly states in bhagavad gita 9.32 You asked, how is it possible to know whether one has committed an offense to devotees and the deities? What are the symptoms and how to counteract them? First of all, we should be extremely cautious never to willingly commit, commit, mixed, commit offenses. However, we may commit offenses without our knowing them. For instance, we may say something to devotees which, may misunderstand, which they misunderstand and take offense for. Or due to neglect, we fail to do something that we should have done. If we develop an offensive attitude or are not careful to avoid offenses, that will be manifest by an increasing lack of enthusiasm for devotional service and an increase in material desires. We may also guess that if devotees appear to be annoyed with us, that we may have offended them. Daily we pray to the devotees to forgive all offenses, known or unknown, by offering them respectful obeisances, vancha kalpa. And in deity worship there is a prayer that is to be said at the end of puja, the purport of which is as follows. My dear Lord, I am always committing, I, I am always committing thousands of offenses. Please forgive me by your causeless mercy. Better than counteracting offenses, however, is being very careful not to commit them. It is good that you have asked this question, because offenses lead to the obstruction in devotional advancement and can even lead to fall down. Next, you asked about preaching from Bible or Quran to Christians and Muslims, except for the few devotees who specialize in preaching to members of other faiths at the, at the academic level. It is not necessary for devotees to deeply study the scriptures of others. Followers of other religious doctrines, if they are sincere, will appreciate actual love of God. In whatever form it appears, those who are not sincere will not listen to us anyway, even if we quote all their scriptures inside out and upside down. Nevertheless, there may be no harm in quoting a few well-known lines from those from these scriptures, as Srila Prabhupada sometimes did. For instance, there is a well-known quote of Lord Jesus, Hallowed be thy name, which Srila, which Srila Prabhupada also sometimes used to quote. On the whole, however, it is better to that we study Srila Prabhupada's books very deeply. It is nice that when you think of Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan, sometimes tears appear in your eyes, or the hairs on your arms stand on end. To develop such feelings for Krishna is our aim and our, and our mission. However, you should know that as long as we are still infected by material desires, these natural feelings of ecstasy that arise when you think of Krishna have not yet become steady. We should not artificially try to induce such feelings in ourselves. And we should certainly not tell others if we are experiencing them. That becomes another type of sense gratification. To advise oneself as an advanced devotee, go on serving Krishna. Go on serving Krishna and praying to him. When he blesses you with such feelings of ecstasy, take them as his mercy upon you and go on serving, especially in the Sankirtana mission, praying to become free from the material desires that hinder us from constantly experiencing such feelings of ecstasy, which are our natural birthright. I look forward to meeting you and all my loving disciples in Russia in July. January 1998. As this is the first contact I have had with you for several years, and it is anyway not very palatable, I will take the opportunity of expressing something that has peeped me since we last met. 
You probably remember that our last exchange. I don't hold any deep grudge against you for this and do not discuss with others. Although I feel that I was wronged, I take it that I must have wronged you, either in a previous life or in this life, to be treated by you thus. I do not remember in this life having said or done anything to you that you appear to hold such a strong dislike for me. But if I have done so inadvertently, I apologize for my offenses and beg to be forgiven. I have certainly done my share of mistrust, mist, mistreatment. mistreatment of devotees in this life, so I cannot complain. However, considering how events have developed, I would have thought for you to apologize okay Prabhuji. thank you Prabhu. thank krishna. you thank you very much are krishna oh, Prabhuji, are you able to okay Prabhuji, why it is not connect no idea i am using a laptop here hmm. jagannath chandra prabhu you would have got some message on the top of your laptop accepting mic so you should uh, click accept on the top of your, on the uh, message which you receive on the top of your laptop during the online reading session. Oh, even if you are accepting it is not, what can be done? I don't know. <laughs> now also, if, when I while I was connecting through the, my app, a lot of problems were there for me. So I don't know why it is happening like that. Okay, uh, oh, why devotees are getting reduced? Why they are not constantly there? Okay, Srinivas Rauji. Srinivas Rao Garu. Prabhu. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. Yeah, you can. You can read. Yeah, my audible, Prabhu. Little bit uh, louder. Okay, Prabhu. Okay. You can keep the mic or whatever you are having just a uh, little bit further from your mouth, mouth, so that it will be audible. No. Hello. Hello. Hello, Prabhu. Is it okay, Prabhu? No, it is very less sound. Now is it okay, Prabhu? Hello. You can, uh, yes, now it's okay. Okay, Prabhu. 2nd January 1998. Thank you so much for your letter. I am always yes. happy. Hare Krishna, your, sound, your volume is less, Prabhuji. Thank you so much for your letter. I am always happy to hear from you. My instruction for preaching and book distribution is to keep on trying. Pray to Krishna and he will surely help you. Even if you don't appear to be successful, Krishna is pleased with our endeavor. You may worship Sri Sri Gauranita at home. Please do so very carefully. I hope this meets you well and happy. 6 January 1998. I have just now received your letter dated 23 November 97. I am very happy to hear from you and of the wonderful progress you are making in spiritual life. You may worship Sulati Devi in the way you have suggested. It is unusual, but you are living in unusual circumstances. Krishna and his devotees accept the sincere mood of service of those who wish to serve them. Your preaching endeavors are simply wonderful. This is a very good way to spread Krishna consciousness that Srila Prabhupada spoke and wrote about many times, going door to door. You have met many sincere people. Now is a good time for preaching in Russia. So take advantage of the opportunity to bring more and more people to Krishna consciousness. Be gentle and kind with them. People are suffering so much in the material world. They are looking for the love that they have been missing in millions of lifetimes in this material world. So if the devotees of Krishna give that to them, they will respond to them. Please extend my heartfelt best wishes to your father and mother. Hare Krishna. Prabhu. I don't know, somehow your mic is, uh, you are speaking loudly, but your mic is not holding it properly. Okay, Prabhu. Hello. 
uh, you can read now yeah as far as your husband is concerned i mm, don't know it's okay you should unnecessarily hesitate him he is not opposed to your practicing krishna consciousness but it's understandable that he needs to get enough sleep because he has to work hard all day if possible if he is agreed to if you can get up early in the morning and chant very quietly without disturbing him so that he can rest fully otherwise if you have to get up a little later i think that under the circumstances that would be the best thing to do so as not to agitate him then if you are very understanding with him and caring for him he will come to appreciate how krishna consciousness makes you a better person and he will gradually take more interest in himself however if you agitate him before he has come to that level of understanding he may go further away from krishna consciousness so the general rule is that we should try to rise before 4 am but we may have to adjust rules according to the particular situation we are in 6 january 1998 thank you very much for your letter and your kind appreciation please take up this proposal of marriage with bhakta h very seriously that means with full commitment to krishna consciousness in family life and with full commitment to remain together in krishna consciousness despite all difficulties 6th january 1998 thank you so much for your nice vyasa puja offering the news of the expanded preaching is very good it is a fact that if we simply follow the program of sadhana and preaching as srila prabhupada gave us that the krishna consciousness movement will expand more and more it is an ever increasing ocean of transcendental ecstasy let us all dive into it i hope to see you in the summer as a suharevo festival and i hope to visit tambo also next summer please extend my blessings to all the devotees there 8th january 1998 thank you so much for your nice vyasa puja offering your sentiments are appreciated by me it is stated yes, okay. by vaishnava vishwanatha chakravarti thakura that it is only by pleasing the spiritual master that one can be assured of pleasing krishna my request to my disciples is to go on cooperating with all of our iskon family members and to go on pushing on this movement with a determination and sincerity rigidly following the principles are received in disciple succession from srila prabhupada on january 3rd i was at vallabha vidyanagar a small college town in gujarat where we had a celebration with about 100 devotees before the exquisitely beautiful forms of sri sri radha giridhari at that time i accepted seven new disciples and gave brahmanical initiation to three other disciples our movement in this part of the world is spreading steadily and nicely and signs are there that it will spread much more in the not too distant future this is a general request to all my disciples please send me copies of replies to your letters that i may have sent you sent to you in the past especially those with the philosophical and practical advice it will be valuable to collect this so as to instruct other disciples because often the same questions are asked repeated if you can send me the answers along with the original questions that would be the best so as to see them in context 8th january 1998 thank you so much for remembering me on my vyasa puja sela prabhupada used to quote the bengali saying that if you go to bengal your forehead goes with you in other <laughs> words what's destined for you will come to pass it seems that whatever your plans are krishna has some plans for you it looks that this is a point of life at least you will have to struggle in various ways at the same time krishna is always giving the opportunity to serve him in different ways you are so fortunate 8th january 1998 i hope you got the last letter i sent you in that i had stated that if you were not able to come to gujarat and get verbal replies to your letters that i would send them by post the replies are below regarding chanting pulling the beads in the wrong direction just to try to correct the wrong habit if you go on trying your habit will change regarding yoga names i wrote to maharaja who replied
replied as follows someone asked me why there is a statement in the shrimad bhagavata where it is suggested that there was a switching of the treta and gopra yuga i did research and found out of that the names of the yugas are related to the names of the faces of the guys kali refers to a dice with one on it they dwapar refers to the a dice with two on it treta refers to the dice with the three on it and krita the usual name in the vedas for what we usually call satya yuga refers to the dice with four on it these yugas are always in that order and this is further confirmed by the numbering in vedic terminology sometimes things are listed listed from the top down and sometimes from the bottom up it is not quick that the order manifested from the last to the first it is simply another way of looking at the situation should the devotees offer obeisances in the temple room to sanyasis and other senior devotees other than their guru or even to their guru there are comments in the chaitanya charitamrita in the madhya leela concerning a vaishnava who washed and drank mahaprabhu's food foot water in gundika this gundicha 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 these indicate that only the lord should worship in the temple the contradiction to this that devotees began to do guru puja to shrila prabhupada in the temple room this began before chaitanya charitamrita came out and prabhupada accepted so it has become a tradition so worship or obeisances to prabhupada is standard can this be extended to any vaishnava i would think not we have to draw the line somewhere that's my opinion others will differ these things ne- need to be standardized in our society i would think that offering obeisances to any vaishnava in the temple room not directly in front of the deities could be acceptable Srimad Bhagavata 1.2.21 refers to seeing the self as master. What does this mean? By seeing the end of the purport, Srila Prabhupada mentions that by understanding our position in relationship to the Lord, the false ego is then removed by the Lord's grace and all doubts are then cleared. So this self as master could mean first understanding that the soul is superior to the material nature and second that the soul is a servant of the supreme soul. In Gita chapter 13, Lord Krishna also speaks the soul as Kshetragnya, the knower of the body. He is superior to matter and should not be controlled by it. So, to see the self as master means to see the Atma as the Kshetragnya, knower and master of the body. I hope these answers are satisfactory. My general request to all my disciples and aspiring disciples is to go on cooperating with all of our iskon family members and to go on pushing the pushing on this movement with determination and sincerity rigidly following the principles are received as received in disciple succession from sri la prabhupada okay prabhu ji hari krishna thank you prabhu ji okay uh, time is up uh, we can stop here for the time being uh, if devotees have any thing to ask or say something otherwise we can stop here <laughs> if devotees want to say something or have any doubts if no then we can stop here thank you okay we we'll stop here and we'll meet tomorrow at 8 o'clock and we'll continue from page number okay page number 87 10th january 1998 okay हरे कृष्ण वंशा कल्पतरु वेश्य कृपा संधि भी वचन बदिता नम पावन भी वैष्णव भी भी नमो नमः तेन दायत्रन कंपते और निपत्ते कृत्वा च काकुषितम एतत् अहम् ब्रह्मे से साधव सकलम में विहाय दुरान चैतन्य चंद्र चरणे कृतान हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओके थैंक यू कौन अंडवत प्रणाम
uh, just wanted to remind devotees that uh, if you are uncomfortable to have it on your uh, have the app then you can open this link through your laptop also so you can just uh, go on the browser and type uh, attended.zoho.com slash letter then you can attend you need not be every time through your app you can join through your laptop also okay thank you hare krishna